Hello friends, in this video, I will show you how Oracle GL consolidation process works. I have taken a scenario of uh, a company called Reliance. So let us assume that uh, under Reliance, we have two, uh, what we call uh, the subsidiary ledgers, which is Reliance INR ledger, where functional currency is INR and uh, Reliance UST ledger where the functional currency is UST and now the requirement is to run the consolidation process to consolidate the data or the numbers from both the ledgers that is INR ledger as well as the UST ledgers into another ledger by name Reliance consolidated ledger where the functional currency is INR. Now let us see the steps involved in the consolidation process for this scenario. The first step is run the translation process for the UST ledger to convert UST balances into INR. As you know that we can add apples and apples or oranges and oranges. So similarly, in order to consolidate the numbers of Reliance UST ledger into Reliance consolidated ledger, we need to convert the numbers of UST into INR. So hence we need to run a process called trans translation in UST ledger which will convert the balances under UST ledger from UST to INR. Now to understand more about the, the entire translation process, the background behind the translation process and how system translate different accounts, you can refer to my YouTube channel where there is a separate video on the translation process. And the second step is set up the chart of accounts uh, mapping between consolidation ledger and the subsidiary ledger. So in this case, we, uh, we need to set up the chart of accounts mapping between consolidation ledger and UST ledger and another chart of accounts mapping between consolidated ledger and the INR ledger and the third step is set up consolidation mapping third step is run the consolidation process now let us see how these steps can be executed so first we'll start with the run translation process under UST ledger to convert the UST balances into INR so for that uh, we need to log into your responsibility general ledger supervisor reliance usd so as the responsibility name itself says that this is the responsibility which is linked to the reliance usd ledger now i'll run the translation process under this particular ledger go to currency translation what is my target currency it's inr and i want to run this translation process or this entire consolidation process for december 17 period on translate button so wait for the request to be completed <coughs> okay while it's running we will proceed with the second step set up chart of accounts mapping between consolidation ledger and the subsidiary ledger so for that you need to go to the consolidation ledger so general ledger super user Reliance console. So this responsibility is linked to Reliance consolidation ledger. So as far as the chart effects mapping is concerned, navigate to setup accounts, chart of accounts mapping. So I had already created the mapping. I'll show you the particular mapping. So let me just query for this. Reliance USD to Reliance console. okay so this is the mapping between reliance inr ledger and reliance console ledger so we need to do mapping between console and inr ledger as well as console and ust ledger so first we'll start with the mapping between console ledger and inr ledger so in the chart of accounts in the naming convention it clearly mentioned that it's a mapping between inr ledger and console ledger so here you need to specify the target chart of account and source chart of account so target chart of accounts is nothing but the chart of accounts of the consolidation ledger so in this case uh, the chart of accounts of both my consolidation ledger as well as the subsidiary ledger are same so hence i had selected the target as well as the source chart of accounts as reliance accounting flex fin so that is my chart of accounts click on segment rules and this is where you do a mapping between the target that is the consolidation ledger chart of accounts and the source ledger chart of accounts 
So as the chart effects are same, I used an action called copy value from for all the segments. So in this case, I have got one, two, three, four, five, and six segments. For all the segments, I use the uh, action called copy value from. So that is like all the companies, whatever is being used under uh, source ledgers, the, sa uh, the same company value will get transferred to your consolidation ledger. But if you want to use a different value, then you got an options here. So if you want to use a specific value, so you can say ascend single value and say let us assume if I go with an ascend single value and choose 0 1. So that means for all the balances for different companies under source ledger, when it moves to target ledger, that is your consolidation ledger, you will have the company code as 0 1 irrespective of the company code which is used in the source ledger and if i use something called roll up rules from here you can you you can give us a different kind of mapping that is like uh, target is 0 1 if source company codes are say 0 1 to 0 2 and target is save this and target is say 03 the source company codes are 03 to 04 something like that okay so i don't want to use this so i'll save this delete these rules okay. i just want to go for the you want to continue yes. okay copy value from action okay so here you got different options but i am just using the option of copy value from so the source and target will be same if you go with this copy value from so that's for the reliance inr to reliance concern now we'll query for the reliance usd to reliance reliance concern so this is the another mapping which i i had created so again even uh, here it's a mapping between concern and usd even for the usd ledger also my chart accounts is Reliance Accounting Flex Field. So hence the source and target is Reliance uh, Accounting Flex Field. Again, go to the segment rules. So again, I have used the value of copy value from for all the segments. If you want, you can use the different actions that is assign single value or use roll up rules from. Okay. So that's the second uh, step. And the third step is set up the consolidation mapping. Again, this consolidation mapping should happen between console ledger and INR ledger that's the one mapping and the second mapping is again between console ledger and USD ledger so for that again within the same responsibility navigate to consolidation define consolidation so this is where you need to define the mapping so I had already created so let me just query for that Lens, INR. Yeah. so this is a mapping between Reliance INR to console that is INR reliance console ledger to INR ledger so in this uh, consolidation definition mapping what we need to do is you need to specify what is the parent uh, ledger so in this case the parent ledger, ledger is reliance console ledger what is the substrate ledger so substrate ledger is the reliance INR ledger and method how do you want to transfer the balances from the source ledger to the target ledger whether you want to transfer the balances or whether you want to transfer the transactions we can use either uh, as far as the INR uh, ledger is concerned we can use either the method balances or transactions that is if the functional currency of parent ledger and the substrate ledger are same then we can go for either balances or transactions but if the functional currency of your substrate ledger and console ledger ledger are different then the only option left for us is to go for the balances that is if you go for the uh, mapping between these two i should a system will not allow me to select the uh, method as transaction it will allow me to select only balances but whereas for the mapping between these two it will allow me to select either uh, balances or transactions so in this case i had gone for the balances for both and usage is obviously standard as we are not using the average uh, balancing method so just use the default value which is standard and these two things and uh, as far as the mapping is concerned uh, you need to select the mapping whatever we have created earlier that is the chart of records mapping here and uh, these two are the default values run journal input create summary general so if you check this checkbox 
once the consolidation process is run journal input process will automatically get triggered to import the data into your consolidation ledger okay so this is the mapping between INR and console now we'll query for the mapping between uh, Reliance USD and console so this is the mapping between USD and console ledger that is this and this so again here my parent is consolidated ledger and substory is Reliance USD ledger within bracket INR because this is the reporting ledger of USD ledger that is a translated ledger of USD ledger and so when you click on drop down automatically uh, your uh, uh, Reliance USD ledger within bracket INR will get populated here so that's the translated ledger of this USD ledger and method is balances usage is standard and again uh, this is the chart of accounts mapping that's a chart of accounts mapping between Reliance USD and Reliance consolidated ledger and again again check the checkbox of run journal input and uh, create uh, summary journals so that's the third step and then now the last step is run the consolidation process so again for the consolidation process you should be under general ledger supervisor reliance console navigate to consolidation transfer data and here in the drop down select the consolidation mapping first we'll do the consolidation process between uh, reliance inr ledger and reliance console ledger so reliance percentage inr Okay, Reliance INR to Reliance console mapping and I want to run the consolidation process for December period so this is the period under substrate ledger and where you want to transfer those balances under your parent ledger obviously for the same period and amount type should be PTD okay click on transfer the concurrent request gets triggered in the background and that particular process once it is completed we can check that view request find so this consolidation transfer process once it's completed it will trigger the general input process which will create the generals under the consolidation ledger so let's wait for this particular program to be completed it's running okay so consolidation transfer process completed which has triggered the general input now once the general input program is completed you should be able to see the journal entries in the consolidation ledger related to the INR ledger <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's completed. Now go to journals, enter, select the period as December 17. Click on find. Here you can see a journal which got created, and from the batch name in naming convention, you can see Reliance INR to Reliance cons Console. So this is the journal related to INR. So for under INR ledger for a December period. Uh, looks like there is only one journal entry and uh, uh, and the balances for these two account code combination got moved from your INR ledger to your Reliance consolidated ledger. Now run the similar consolidation process for the USD ledger. Consolidation transfer data Reliance USD to Reliance console again the period for the substrate ledger is december 17 and the starting period is or the period for the parent ledger is december 17 click on transfer wait for the request to be completed so once this consolidation transfer is completed it will trigger the journal input program it should create the journals under consolidation ledger related to usd ledger So for, for both these journals, you should be able to see the currency as INR.
after consultation transfer completed journal input got triggered wait for the journal input to be completed it's completed go to journals enter december 17 see here you can see the general batch related to us data ledger reliance us to reliance console click on review journal looks like there are a lot of uh, code combination which has got balances under uh, december period under us ledger and all those got transferred or moved to consolidation ledger with the currency of INR. so this is how you can run the consolidation process now let us assume that once you run the consolidation process uh uh, user has entered couple of more journals under say INR ledger or UST ledger then what you need to do is as long as this journal is not posted you can delete this journal and then run the consolidation process once again so that the uh, system will transfer the updated balance to your consolidation ledger let us assume if it is posted if it is posted then reverse this particular journal under the same period and then rerun the uh, consolidation process to move the balances from the substrate ledger to your uh, consolidation ledger if it is in the case of INR ledger if there are any additional journals which are created after running of the consolidation process then you just delete this particular journal uh, go to the um, uh, I mean, go to the consolidation process and run the consolidation process from INR to your consolidation ledger but if there are additional journals which are created under UST ledger then apart uh, before running consolidation process you should ensure that you need to rerun the translation process so rerun the translation process then run the consolidation process to move the updated balance from usd ledger to consolidation ledger thank you thanks for watching my video for more interesting uh, videos on oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you